Police say a teenager in a stolen car tried to get away from an officer, but instead his car went airborne and right into a front yard. News Nice Chris Yu shows us what happened next. The sign on the front door says let it snow, but instead of a blanket of white, the ground is blanketed in broken parts. Parts from an overturned car that landed in the front yard of Clara Bacon's home. It sounded like a freight train hitting my vehicles in my yard. Purcell police say around 1.43 a.m. Friday, an officer tried to pull over the car on Green Avenue because it was speeding. But police say the car would not stop, going about 70 miles an hour. The driver then lost control, hit several utility poles before landing on its roof at Bacon's yard. I really was afraid the car was going to explode or something the way it was smoking so bad. Police say the driver, a 16-year-old boy from Grady County, then ran away, leaving his 13-year-old brother trapped inside the overturned car. They had to pry on the door quite a bit to get him out. The suspect, though, didn't get far. We received several phone calls the next hour and a half or so of him trying to knock on doors, trying to get in contact with people. Uh, eventually, a McLean County deputy uh, came in contact with the subject and arrested him. Days after that crash, you can still see the trail of destruction caused by the suspect's vehicle, such as the downed mailbox behind me, what's left of the power pole, downed power lines, and of course, debris everywhere. And on top of that, police say the teen suspect was driving a stolen car. It's heartbreaking to see, you know, young juveniles uh, not understanding the dangers of vehicle and speed. The teen facing several felony complaints, his younger brother released to his parents. Angels were with them. In Purcell, Chris Hugh, Oklahoma's own News 9.